Hi, my name is Lauren Bregesser, Associate Professor at the University of Colorado Denver and Ableton Certified Trainer. I'm going to demonstrate the split stereo pan mode in Ableton Live 10. To engage the split stereo pan mode, all I need to do is right click on the standard balance and panner that you probably already know, drop down and select split stereo pan mode. Once I do that, you'll see that that knob is changed to a left and right with a left panner and a right panner. Now I'm going to give you a quick animation to describe what's the difference between this balance knob, panning knob that's originally there, and the new split stereo pan mode. So what happens, when I adjust that panner to the left, I wind up having more of the left track, and it brings down the volume of the right track, so the track shifts to the left, and it's giving me more of the left information, but less of the right, and it moves things away from the center and to the left. And when I bring it all the way to the left, it increases the left volume a little more and brings the right volume all the way down. So you can see in the mixer, it's 100% left on the left and 0% of the right on the right. And the disadvantage to this is that if I have information on the right side that I want to hear, even though I want to move the stereo image around, using that standard knob prevents me from doing that. So if I go into the split stereo panner, I have separate panners for both the left and the right side. Now what happens is if I take the left panner and I move it all the way to the right, watch what happens in the mixer. It takes all of the information from the left side and then it puts it on top of the information on the right side. So now I have everything shifted to the right, but all the information that's originally in the left channel and the right channel are both in that right side. What does this mean as far as positioning in a stereo field, as if you're looking at speakers? Well, what happens here is I have, with a standard balance knob, an equal amount of left and right in the left speaker and the right speaker. Now, if I adjust that balance or panner to the left a little bit, it increases the amount of information in the left speaker and decreases the amount in the right speaker. So it brings that right side down and the left side up. But both those sides are still discrete left and right. And if I move it to the right, I get the exact same thing. Now with a split stereo mode, what happens is I can adjust the positioning of both the left and right sides independently of each other. So I can take the left side, pan to the center, and it moves that audio from the left to equally in the left and right, while the right is 100% in the right side. And I can further move it to the right, so now I can have Still a slight stereo separation, but very narrowed and positioned mostly to the right. That means if I have interesting and discrete information on the left side and the right side, I can use the split stereo panner to narrow that and position that in the stereo field, all with just switching that from the regular pan balance knob to the split stereo panner. And then I can move the right side and I can cross it over the left if I want to. I can even go further and take the right side, move it mostly left with the left side a little bit on the right. So you can do some crazy things with the panning and really have very good control over your stereo field with a split stereo panner by precisely panning the information on the left side and the right side exactly where you want in the stereo field without losing any of the discrete information that's in the left or right side of that stereo track. So now I'm going to give you an audio demonstration of what's going on. With a standard live panner, with a stereo track on here, with discrete information on the left and right side, listen what happens when I move that panner to the left. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. 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 So with that panner all the way to the left, I just get the discrete information on the left side and nothing on the right side. So if I move it all the way to the right, you'll hear what happens is just the opposite. Left, right, left, right, right. Now if I engage the split stereo panner, I can adjust the location of both those left and right sides in the stereo field independently of each other. So if I'm going to select the split stereo pan mode, and now I can adjust the left and the right, and no matter where I place them in the stereo field, I'm going to hear both the left and right sides in their specified location. Left, 
right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe if you want to see more Ableton Live videos that I create here in the near future. And one thing that I do have to say is that the standard pattern live 9 and 10 is probably perfect for 90% of the things that I do and probably you do. But sometimes you have moments where you want to place that in a different location. You want to narrow it. You want to position things a little bit differently, but you don't want to lose that discrete left-right information. And that's where the split stereo panner in Ableton Live 10 really shines.